Oh, there it is. Oh, yep. Yep, yep. E yep, yep. Man, I'm turning into an Ewok every day that passes by. Man. So I guess this is just a random deposit of netherrack here. And I'm sure everyone knows what netherrack breaks so quickly. So I'm glad to be using the hammer to break this stuff because it just breaks it that much faster. So he said he wanted a stack. How much do we have right now? This has got to be a stack or close to it, right? And so far, I'm pretty sure this is all just straight netherrack. No, no netherrack ores. So at least that makes sense. Like we couldn't even go to the nether, let alone <laughs> get a little bit of netherrack unless we came here to this volcano. Mainly submit. There you go. Got a full stack. How much is that? Plus six mission outlook. Good stuff. All right. So uh, what else do we have here? Discover nether cobalt. We need to do all these. Discover th dis or sample thomium. Oh, he wants a thomium ing ingot too. Extract end ore fragments. Wait a second. Eximite, e eximite ore and muta mutuit. That's such a weird. What are those four? Extract ore fragments. So, or nether ore bat. Ooh. So wait a second. Do I get the fragments from the bag or can I find them out here? I I'm kind of confused. Oh yeah, what else do we need for these common materials? Okay, a diamond. I don't remember. I don't, I don't know if we ever found a diamond. I think we have a diamond and we used it for a sacrifice. I think we found it in like a blacksmith thing, but I don't know if we actually found a diamond, you know? Uh, so if we need one, we should probably go mining again. Well, I'll probably do that off camera because mining does get a little bit repetitive, a little bit boring, you know? Anyways, let's keep on digging. Let's keep going deeper. Yep, a little bit more netherrack here waiting to be mined. Now let's see. Is it possible? Uh... Okay, there's sulfur down here. Sulfur, uh, or a soapstone sulfur ore. Is there, oh. Is there another ore down here? I thought I just saw another coal ore. Well, there's regular coal ore, or soapstone coal, coal ore. But, oh, what is this though? Gray, gray whack? What in the world? What kind of names are these? Wacky names, if you ask me, geez. <laughs> Alright, grab all the rest of the netherrack. I suppose we can go submit a little bit more of this. There's a little bit of sulfur. Doesn't this stuff explode? I guess not. Hey, what do you know? And grab a little bit more of that stuff. Might as well, right? Let's see if we can find any more of the uh, any more of this netherrack. Maybe go this way instead. Because over here is where the volcano is at. So let's keep going this way. Actually, let's go this way. Yeah, yeah. There's literally netherrack like right here, man. Man, our 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 hammer's actually holding up pretty well. Like it's breaking so many blocks right now. You think it get really low on durability, especially because it's made out of iron, not anything like really, really dank, you know. But I'm, I'm actually surprised. This thing's holding up pretty well. How much how much durability? And it is just a regular old uh, durability. 1520 out of 2160. Not bad. Yeah, not bad. But we do have a lot of netherrack here. And I don't know if we have like dynamos. We can, oh, what is this? Phosphorite? Phos phosphorite? Phosphorite? I, I, I want to say phosphorus, but it says like phos phosphorite. Yeah, it's like phosphorite. All right, well, let's see. What do we have in our inventory that we can get rid of? Uh, a little bit of gravel. There you go. Let's get a little bit of that phosphor in our inventory. And I guess we could uh, send it a little. Let's check our uh, mission outlook. Oh, wow. Mission outlook's up, up to 676. Not bad at all. All right. Well, we died 39 times, so I don't know how much we lose every time we die, but it's probably too much. Let's just say the facts. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I guess we could send in a little bit of netherrack to get this. It, it only costs two... Uh, mission outlook, so there you go. We got another rack uh, bag. And let's see, legendary. Ooh, let's see what we get. Shadow Iron Ore. Now, I don't even know what that, I don't even know if that's good, I don't know if it's bad, but let's see if we can even submit this stuff. Is that it? No, it's sang Sanguinite. Is it? Oh yeah, here it is right here. Man, I'll submit that back. Oh, hey, that's pretty good. Like, we get... A net gain of plus six mission outlook. Not bad. Because we did spend two mission outlook to get the, the mystery bag. And we just got plus eight from sending it back in. So, eh, not bad. Not bad at all. I don't know. Let's see if anyone wants this phosphorite, right? See if anyone wants this. Uh, 30 quests available for completion. Man, that's an absolute ton. Scouts, zero quests, 11 quests, 26 quests, one quest. Oh, yeah, it's a xenobiologist. Uh, eight quests. The dark one has two unclaimed rewards. Ooh, claim. Oh wait, no, never mind. That's a uh, another knife, and that's uh, another thing. Yeah, we don't want to do that. <laughs> I was getting a little bit excited there for getting some casual rewards from Satan himself. <laughs> All right, let's grab a little bit more of this netherrack, and we can probably send it in. Hopefully, get ourselves another net profit like we just did right there. Well, let's get a little bit more of this phosphorite stuff. Pretty good stuff. Apparently. I don't even know what you. Let's look it up. 
Let's look up what we use this stuff for. Is it like explosive or something? Because I know this is the stuff that matchsticks are made out of, right? Like this red frost, red phosphorus. Uh, mid medassium dust plus phosphorus it gives you pulverized skill. What? And phosphorite block. And that seems to be it. Oh, really? They could have made like a special TNT out of this stuff. That would have been really cool. I guess not. Uh, where are we at right now, though? I guess we can go this way a little bit more. See if we can go down a little bit deeper. We need to go deeper. That's, that's the name of the nether achievement, but... Uh, alas, we never did make it to the nether now, did we? Uh, is there actually ore down here? Or do I have to actually trade with that guy? I really don't know. Cause apparently he's like extracting the metals from the from the netherrack and that's how he's like getting the getting the ores but then i have to like send it back to him so like well, what's the point right anyways let's go back to the geology let's send a little bit more of that that yeah I'll send more of this stuff uh 60 oh he needs 200 man he needs 200 this time well i'm like it's not a big deal for me but still that's an absolute ton do you not really you need like maybe a stack but gee 200 man this guy's greedy as heck I guess he does need a pretty large sample. God, I just broke my torch. <laughs> All right, well, do you have enough now? 72, God, I need almost this whole nother stack. Jeez, this guy needs a ton. Man, okay. And so far I've, I've seen pretty much nothing but regular old netherrack. So I am, I'd, I'd say I'm convinced to say that there is no netherrack ore down here, just straight up netherrack and we have to send it into him and hope that he gives us something uh, that we can actually trade back in, you know? Anyways, claim the reward. Did we already claim that? Where, oh, I guess I don't have any inventory space. There you go. Can I claim that now? No, there you go. All right, well, let's open up the bag. And we can get rid of that garbage. I don't need this soapstone. And what's that? Limerite. I don't know if we can send that in. Let's go check. Is that it? Oh, hey! Plus eight. There you go. Another plus six to my mission outlook. Claim the reward. All right, so... So far, this isn't that bad. I do feel like it's getting a little bit repetitive, so... I think all I'm going to do is uh, hold this off to, you know, finish off of, uh, or finish, God, I can't even speak English right now, what is happening to me? <laughs> but I want to finish this, uh, the geologist netherrack missions on my own, so I don't, you know, do the same thing over and over again for, uh, like a billion episodes here, so, let's just, oh man, how are we going to get back up there? Jeez, oh, well, I guess we do have, like, casual stacks upon stacks of soapstones, so might as well put it to use, right? <laughs> there we go, and let's just... Get out of here. Like, we did make a casual staircase of casuality, so... Might as well... You, what is that thing on the minimap? What is that thing? It looks like a spider, like a purple spider or something. Is that like a... Taint spider? What is this thing? It's like out here. A little bit too afraid to... Where is it? Where is it? What is it? Oh, I'm getting... Oh, that's not it. Oh, yeah, there is a taint spider down there. Look at that nasty thing. Gee! Well, I do want to go to the very top here, but I don't want to break too much. Well, yeah, I have my shovel still. Yep. There we go. Let's grab this, and let's break the block. Get the fibers taint out of the way first. There we go. And... Oh! Parkour! Uh, and let's go all the way up to the teleporter to get out of this this mess, this tainted land that I don't even like. Disgusting. Nasty. And of course, the classic makes me want to vomit. Let's go back to Biodome Alpha. <laughs> Alright, so we have, I say we have a pretty good progress going on right now. Let's actually check. Uh, what is our current mission outlook, right? Uh, 88. Not bad at all. Once we hit 88 miles per hour, whew, we're going to be traveling through time. I'll tell you that much. Oh yeah, we have another one of those plants. Let's go plant that thing back down. Because I wanted to go lay down those ethereal blooms, but I might as well plant that. Oh yeah, we need like a uh, soul sand, right? That's what we used to plant down the other one. Uh, there it is right there. I suppose we can just throw this up inside there. If we do, we I don't think we have an equivalent exchange on here. I've been playing too much of that Star Wars: The Force Awakens, and I've just been throwing a bunch of literal garbage into the equivalent exchange thing to get you know more useful stuff out of it. This hasn't been grown. I don't. Let's dig it back up. Let's dig it back up, and then we can put it in the caves. Did it? Did it? Oh yeah, it dropped. Okay. Oof. <laughs> Wanted to make sure there. Let's put it in the caves where it's a little bit darker. You know, let's put it like I don't know poof, over here. Let's put it over here, and then hopefully it's not too bright to where it can actually grow. I don't know if that's the case, I don't know if it has to be dark, because I know for oreberry bushes it needs to be dark, so maybe the same thing for this stingberry, whatever that's supposed to be, so. Let's put a little bit of soul sand down here in the ground. There we go, let's grab the two stingberry bushes that we have. There we go, get rid of that 
dump comatite stuff. I don't need that. And there we go. Hopefully that stuff grows. I'm just going to leave it there. And I suppose I can just patch this up. There you go. Make sure no spooky spawn inside there. We have a little bit more iron there. Uh, I suppose we can go throw it inside the smeltery so we can continue the journey of getting that iron ingot that I've been working on for like who knows how long. I think I need one more nugget and I'll be good to go. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm just going to guess here. Anyways, Ethereal Blooms. We need to go spread the Ethereal Blooms outside. And, uh, oh wow, god, look at the minimap. It looks like there, there's that cow overlay on that, uh, that red question mark, and it looks like a mushroom. <laughs> Alright, let's go outside, and let's go grab our Ethereal Blooms and spread them out a little bit. Oh yeah! Oh, this tree grow? Did it- oh yeah, it, it's, it's being grown, but is it- is it healing? Uh, I don't know if it's already- I don't know if it's detained if I- I don't know if- let, let me- I kinda wanna just break this, you know? I kind of want to break it like it's a lost cause. I don't know if it can be de detaintified when it's already, you know, broken like that, like killed, I guess you could say. So I think what we need to do is remove the tank, kind of like cancer, remove the tumor and hopefully it gets better. So hopefully like, you know, this fibrous taint is the cancer or I guess the tumor, the cancer tumor and the tree is like the healthy body. So getting rid of the, the tumors, hopefully that'll get rid of the the canter, or the taint, I guess. Man, I'm, I mean, I'm getting so confused by my analogies here. Now, what do we do with this this liquid here? And can I like put a put like blocks here and stop that from existing? Or is that still going to be there once I? Oh no, now it's gone. Hey, that's pretty good. Anyways, uh, oh yeah, we have a zero bloom here. Maybe we can speed up the process if we uh, put a zero bloom like right here, right? Let's do that, and hopefully we can save that one little piece of wood right there. And hopefully the cancer doesn't spread to it. And yeah, anyways, let's look at a minimap, and I suppose, isn't there a tree? Oh my god, oh, yeah, the cancer spread too quickly over here, so it's a lost cause, rest in peace. Uh, what should we even do about this tree, though, you know, like, I'm pretty sure that the taint has spread to it a little bit too, I'm just going to throw it out there, but I think it might have spread a little bit too much, <laughs> but... I think it's a lost cause. Should we just leave it there and we just have a big pile of taint there? Or I guess I could put a ethereal bloom here to try and I don't know if this will even do anything, but I guess I'll put that there and see what happened, right? But yeah, at least we're going to at least try and save that tree from the spreading taint cancer stuff. So that's pretty good. Oh yeah, and this tree should have a nice, uh, fertile, healthy land for it to, to grow on top of. Once it does grow, if it ever does grow, man, that thing's taking forever. Oh yeah, we do have a uh. A taint area over here that we were cleaning up a while ago. Let's go check up on that. Two more a oh, yep, two more apples. Fresh, ready to be harvested. Speaking of apples, lunchtime. Don't mind if I eat out my delicious lunchbox of goody foods. I don't even know what I'm eating right now, but it's pretty good stuff, I assume. <laughs> All right, I assume that the uh, lunchbox automatic. Oh, it's almost. It's almost completely killer up here, so that's pretty good. I assume the lunchbox. Uh, you know, it makes you eat the most efficient food first because I think right now like whatever food we're eating is pretty slow uh yeah yeah, yeah the grilled eggplant's getting pretty low so probably put the baked pot uh, baked potatoes getting pretty low as well uh, and we don't have any more food right now lunch bag I know the lunch bag has something in it oh yeah good stuff monster jerky cooked chicken a little bit of steak not bad not bad at all all right so I guess I don't know what I want to do I, I guess I could actually check if we have project e nope we don't we don't have it in here. No more equivalent exchange time. This is the wrong mod pack. This is the wrong series. <laughs> Guess I could nah, get rid of all this soapstone garbage I don't need. Throw it over here, right? Get rid of all this. You know, gray smoke. Can I like... Why can I not like uh, mass drop items? I guess not. There you go. Get rid of all that. And we do have a little bit more netherrack left. Can we do anything with this? Can we like infuse iron into... Oh my god, another furnace. Hellish brick. Nether brick. Of course everyone knows how, how to do that. Gravel, another brick. Uh, oh yeah, magma crucible. Is that it? Uh, I guess so. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now what is that nether fern? Another button. Look at that. <laughs> What's this? A lever? Another button or another lever? Man, I love that. Nether lever. I kind of want to make another furnace to see what happens, right? Uh, does this like get powered by? I don't know. Fire? Like you can? You, oh, that. That'd be pretty cool. What, what, like a net, like a furnace that you put, just put fire in and it just cooks everything forever. Is that a thing or what? What if I, I don't know. What can I cook? What do I have over here that I can cook? 
Any meat? Any any raw chicken? Any? Uh, I'm not seeing anything here that could be cooked batter. What do I use that for? I don't even know. Uh, potato soup, flour. I guess I could use baked potatoes. You know, cook a little bit of that. See what happens. So what is, what is the point of this nether furnace? I don't. I don't know. Is it more efficient, or is it just another way of making the same old Minecraft furnace that we all we've all come to know and love? I don't. I don't know. Either way, we just put the extra baked potatoes up in there, put the extra egg. Uh, grilled eggplant, we can put that over here. I love how you can barely see the fridge opening whenever... You, like, you can barely see the contents of the fridge. That's so cool. That's a really cool little detail they did right there. Anyways, apples. Oh yeah, let's put the apples in there. Probably get that uh, one egg out there just so we can get apples. Let's see what we can make. Any, any super special apple stuff that we can do? Any iPhones we can make with this? I don't know. Oh, applesauce. Ooh. Let me get a few of those. Put that in my lunch box. Oh yeah, apple juice. Oh man, I love apple juice in real life. It's fantastic stuff. I don't know. Everyone freaks out about orange juice, but I'm I'm an apple juice type of guy. I don't know about you guys, but I also enjoy orange juice as well. But like, if, if you gave me orange juice and apple juice, I'd probably drink the apple juice. No joke. Anyways, uh, how do we put? Oh, there you go. I want to put a little bit of apple sauce in there, as well as a little bit of apple juice. We can put the extra back over here in the extra food chest. There we go. Alright, so, what, I have a bunch of grilled mushrooms, I guess we, yeah, put those grilled mushrooms in there, yeah. Hearty morsel, might as well, right? And put those over here. What other messages do we have right now? Uh, I guess I, I kind of want to go to the geologist again, apparently. Like, is there any other stuff that we could do? Add a little bit of adamantabedine, our classy. Pretty sure I uncovered that a while ago, but I don't remember it. I don't, I don't know. Uh, extract and st oh my god, 200 and stone. Is this stuff good? I don't know. Exomite, muid, I don't even, I don't even think it's possible for me to. Arcane stone. 64 arcane stone block. Can we make those? Arcane stone block. Hmm. Is that just stone with a, with a thing in the middle, a shard? And that gets you this, or does this give you- I, I think- yeah, I think it's the other way around. So, is it possible for me to make these? Maybe? I get- yeah, okay, I guess we'll just go get a little bit of stone. Or, do we already have pre-smelted stone? I guess not. I guess we can use our nether furnace for that, right? <laughs> Let's go check up on that thing. Is this thing- yeah. Oh wow, it's actually still- whoa! Well, I guess it burns a little bit more. Hey! That's pretty good. Uh, why is coal inside of there? Put that up in there. Let's cook some cobblestone, shall we? Hey, that, that's actually kind of cool that it's actually cooking more than eight items because usually a coal block cooks, uh, or a coal nugget, I guess you could call it, cooks eight things. But we just cooked nine baked potatoes right there. That's pretty good stuff. Uh, let's bring that up again. Uh, so I guess just any shard along with any shred up stone along with fire aspect and earth aspect. I think we'll be good to go. I, I, I you do that at the work table, right? Like, uh, let me just trillion really check this shaped arcane work table. Do we have one of those? Yeah, is this shaped? I don't know. I have no idea if this is like what this is. <laughs> Guess I'll just let's check up on our stone. How's how's that go? Why are you like sniffing that stone? What is this at the top? Does that mean I can filter items into it? Maybe I don't know. Anyways, I kind of want to make more of those. Oh yeah, we don't have any more netherrack. I was about to say I want to make more of those uh, <laughs> those netherrack furnaces because those things are fantastic. But I don't know if the geologist will give me any. Uh, nope, no, I don't think so. Discover Viracurus. What Vic Viracurus? What is this? There's a greenish metal I call for blah, blah blah blah. You might be able to look into. Could you get me a sample? It's very toxic, but proper metalworking can turn that to your favor. Want a poisonous blade? Ooh, poisonous blades. Hey, that's pretty good. Not bad at all. Hey, uh, what was I doing? Was I smelting something here? I don't know. I feel like I was. I, I, I honestly don't even remember what I was doing. <laughs> well, let's grab a little bit of earth shards. I right, grab them all, right? And let's see, is, is, is the stone over here done? Let's see, okay, six to, okay, now we're up to ten, so we can, we can try to do this over here, let's see. Is this a thing I can do? With this earth shard. <gasps> Ooh, so I assume this means I have eleven Terra and eleven... Or what, what, what does that do? I don't know which, I, oh man, I should have memorized those numbers there, whoops. But now we have, 
nine arcane stone things and we can send them in right now so we're up to nine out of 64 hey that's pretty good so i guess what we can do is i can go back to the to the volcano and get a bunch more netherrack make a pff, i don't know a dozen a dozen or so uh netherrack uh fill god why, why can i like not talk right now <laughs> make like a dozen or so netherrack furnaces and where do we dig into the side of the mountain at and start smelting a bunch of stone and uh then oh here it is right here and then hopefully we'll actually be able to have this mission over what wasn't this it where in the world did i do it <laughs> i don't even know where it where did, where, did, where did it go oh here it is Whew. all right let's go down here and i'm going to mine some netherrack and i'll see you guys here in a bit once we hopefully have all the arcane stone that we need for the geologist so i'll see you guys here in a second all right guys i think i'm going to be on my last trip here let's see can I go? Oh yeah, I can. Okay, there you go. Let's uh, get the last nine. I think this is the last nine. I'm not 100% sure. Nope, I need <laughs> literally one more block and I'll be good to go. Actually, I should be able to get it right now, right? There we go. Got it. Last one. How much is in this iron cap wooden wand? Man, I have a lot of Terra in there, don't I? Jeez. <laughs> Anyways, let's manual submit and let's get ourselves that plus seven mission outlook. All right. So, uh, this is that he has access to. Alright, well, I already sent him a stack, so that's good. And he needs some Thaumion, and we do have some Thaumion over here. I think we have, like, I don't know, eight or so of them. Oh, six of them. Not bad. And I don't know what he use it for. Apparently, it's pretty rare stuff. Not going to joke around. He just needs one, and that gets a seven. Mission not look good stuff. Not going to joke. <laughs> As you guys probably know, I am not joking around, and I'm also very casual, so... There you go. <laughs> Anyways, I, I kind of want to... How much netherrack do I have left over? I probably have a little bit. Yeah, almost two stacks. Not bad, but not anywhere near enough to to get the uh, the next thing in netherrack. Anyways, I made like eight netherrack furnaces. I made seven extra, including the... No, I made seven extra, so we'd have eight, because I already made one on camera. But yeah, it seems like they smelt like double the... Like, four coals, all you need to smelt a stack of stone, apparently, so... This is really, really efficient stuff, not gonna joke around, I'm... Man, I said it again. I, man, you guys probably already know that I'm not joking around about anything, but still. It's really, really efficient, and these uh, stingberry bushes are actually grown, so that's pretty good. Once all these are done smelting, it'll get dark in there again, and hopefully our stingberry bushes will be nice and... Uh, dark, so it can actually continue growing. Anyways, let's eat out of our lunch sack, or whatever this thing's called. And there we go. What, are we getting, like, nauseous or something? What is inside of here? What's giving us that little bit of no I thought it was, like, getting us a little nauseous or something. I don't know. Oh, yeah, let's go check up on our plants. Uh, let's, let's go check out it in the morning. Because right now, it's, it's getting really dark out, and I don't want to get attacked at night, right? <laughs> let's go out here. Let's go check up on our plants. See if anything's good. See if the tank cancer is spread like not anymore to this tree like let's see if this tree's nice and healthy i assume it is i so oh if i had those thumb glasses on i could probably see if it has that little heart of the tree or whatever that thing is called that little aura note that's on the inside of every little silverwood tree you know let's go over here let's go grab those blightfall glasses or whatever those things are called and thermometer, whatever. <laughs> but yeah you can see there's a there's an aura note right there can i scan these or have i already done it I, already, I think I already have done it. Yeah, alright. Well, can I scan this shrub? Hey! I didn't even know I could do that. Hey, that's pretty good. <laughs> Anyways, uh, almond? Oh! I thought these almonds had to be, uh, whoa, what? What's happening? Did I just get stuff? You have discovered arbor? That's kind of cool, I guess. Jungle leaves? Hey, that's pretty good stuff! Anyways, let's grab these. I thought the whole thing had to be brown for us to get almonds. So, man, all this time we had almonds that I could have gotten. Ah, uh, fresh ripe almonds. Fresh from the almond tree. Grab those. Now let's check if this thing even has an... Oh, it doesn't even have an aura note on the inside. I think that means this tree's dead. Does this one have an aura note? I think it does, because it has that little... It's, it's, it's like turning the... The grass a bluish color over here, you know? Like a, like a blue-green. Yeah, it does. It has, like, aura note on it. Can I, like, suck the energy out of it with a magic wand? Is that possible, or... I don't know. What's happening right here? To understand, this, you need to study empty things. What does that even mean? What, what do I even do with that? Scan the bloodwood. There we go. What'd that just get me? Discovered a new clue to research. Metallium? And arbor? Or something? I don't know, but I'm just gonna scan all these leaves that I haven't scanned already. Uh, let's see, are these leaves different? Eucalyptus leaves? Hey, there you go. Hey, this, this scanning stuff is pretty good. What about plants? 
Uh, I need to understand. Study man. Why would I need to do that? That makes no sense. What about a mushroom? Study empty thing. What does that even mean? I don't know. Oakwood. Hey, arbor again, I assume. And I already have those leaves. What if I did it to, oh yeah, an ethereal bloom. I've never done that to this, have I? Got empty things again, huh? Huh, what does that even mean? I don't know. Anyways, man, this is pretty interesting stuff. So, oh, what about the uh, silverwood leaves? I don't think I've done that one before. Oh, what about the acacia leaves? There you go, a little bit more of that green stuff and more of that. And the silverwood leaves. Oh, I guess I've already done it. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's head back inside there. Let's go check up on our quest book. See if anyone else needs any more quests. Be nice and done. Uh, oh yeah. I guess I might as well go check up on this other one that's already pretty much dead. Just to confirm that. Oh my god, it has no leaves. <laughs> oh man, if, if I... If I I don't even know why I'm over here. Like, I can see it has literally no leaves. Uh, clearly, that thing is dead. Do we have any, uh... Oh, okay, we don't have any more ethereal blooms in our inventory, unfortunately, so... Can't really... Can't really put any ethereal blooms over there to clean that area up right now, right? Uh, unfortunate. But we do have an ethereal bloom there in the middle of nowhere, so let's go grab that, then. Let's eat a little bit more out of our lunch bag real quick, right? And how much food's left inside here? Oh, never mind. It's all gone now. <laughs> let's grab this ethereal bloom. Let's go put it over there next to that tree that... Uh, fought valiantly against, against the tank cancer, but unfortunately it won. <sighs> Let's have a moment of silence for this tree that didn't really have a chance to live, but fought valiantly. Fought valiantly against the taint swarm. And there you go. Ethereal Bloom on your grave, sir. Ethereal Bloom. Can I break this with the iron hammer? Is that going to break a 3x3 three three or, uh... Nope. I guess not. Whatever. Can we get rid of this faster? I guess not. God, so nasty looking. Jeez. Hopefully the ethereal bloom can get rid of all that disgusting taint. Is there any more on that tree? Yeah, I don't think so. I kind of want to just cut down that tree and just let it let it just go in peace. You know, it, we, we've already confirmed that it's dead. It has no, has no, I don't know what they call that, aura note or silverwood tree heart or whatever you want to call it. it. has nothing in there. It's just dead. But... Another moment of silence for that tree. Alright, alright. Enough respects have been paid. Too much, actually. Too much respects for me. 